friends again And what is so hidden that leads to destruction And there are many who go in by it Because narrow is the gate And difficult is the way which leads to life Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to love. And there are few who find it. Enter by the narrow gate. Enter by the narrow gate. For what is the gate? And what is the way that leads to destruction? And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. A visual devotional a memory verse, a memory verse is taken from Matthew 7, verses 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is their gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that found that find it. What is this a picture of? A bus. A bus. Have you ever lost your way? Let us suppose we all let us suppose we all were on a large bus like this. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, and, beep, and had beep, come, beep, and the driver beep, was driving, beep, and it comes to a fork in a row that looks like a Y, like this. Like a Y, shape of a Y. Beep, beep, That's what you beep, call a beep, fork in a row. Beep, beep. We couldn't, we couldn't go straight ahead, can we? Could we go straight? Could the bus go, go straight ahead? No, it has to either go left or right. Okay, we couldn't go straight ahead. We should have, have to turn one way or the other. If we were strangers and didn't know the road, what is the first thing we should look for? What would what would we need to look for? What is this called? A sign. That's right. We would signs. have to yes, two different signs, but we we would have to look for a sign to let us know to let the driver know whether to go right or left. And we should be greatly disappointed if there was none. If there was no sign, do you see a sign here in this picture? No. 
So this bus doesn't know whether to go left or right. On life's highway, we are today approaching a fork in the road. We all want to reach the right destination. We should guess. We shouldn't guess as it is too serious a matter to take lightly. We might be lost for eternity. If we go see, see these group of people, we have one group of people going right and the other and, and a few people going. How many is going the other way? Not many, right? Not many. So we shouldn't guess as it is too serious a matter to take lightly. We might be lost for eternity. We shall naturally look for a sign and we shall not be disappointed if we look in the right place. Yes, Mom, Naomi. I, it's a, one person is yes, walking right. the wrong way. That could, that, that could be a right way. The right way or a wrong way? Because look at this, the majority. The majority is going one way and maybe this person too may be going that direction. You don't know. But are we going to follow, follow, are we going to follow a large crowd? That crowd can be going a wrong way while, while mm -hmm. the other direction is the right way. Okay. So, is, is, so is some evil reaching the right way? The right way. Okay, so let's continue. On life's highway, we are today approaching a fork in the road. We all, not yet, wait a minute, not yet. I'll let you know to change the slide. If we are, okay. On life's highway, we are today approaching a fork on the road. We all want to reach the right destination. We shouldn't guess, as it is too serious a matter to take lightly. We might be lost for eternity. We shall naturally look for a sign, and we shall not be disappointed if we look in the right place. This sign is found in what, Naomi? This sign is found in what does this text say? is very simple and shouldn't be misunderstood by anyone. This sign tells us three means by which we can be certain that we are on the right or wrong road. It explains that there are two gates, two gates like this gate you see here there's two gates, one on the left and one on the right. It explains that there are two gates, two roads, like two roads and two groups of people, as like you see in that picture there. Heaven, we have one group hell. of picture. We have Heaven, one. Hell. You have one group of uh, people going one way, and another group of people. Not many group is going the other way. There is a wide gate, Heaven, broad road. <coughs> mm -hmm. There is a wide gate, broad road, and um, um. a multitude. <laughs> Me, that I remember watching that movie before when I was old. Mm -hmm, the Pilgrim's Progress, yeah. That's right. We are on a, on a journey, just like Christian in the Pilgrim's Progress. It explains that there are two gates. Two, uh, there is a wide gate and a straight. There, there is a wide gate. Broad road and a multitudinous group of people. 
also there is a straight or a small gate, narrow road, and a small number of people. If we go through the wide gate and follow the crowd on the broad road, we can be certain that we are on the road to destruction. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the road to destruction. If we have entered the small gate and are with the few on the narrow road, we can be certain that we are on the road to eternal life. And that reminds me of the text, John 17, 3, right, Naomi? Come here, please. That says, John, um, and this is life eternal. Can you, can you say the rest of it? And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Very good. Satan beckons us. Come here. I have a next slide. Satan beckons to us at the fork of the road and, and, and advises us to follow the crowd, like we saw in this picture, following the crowd. S Satan wants us to follow the crowd. Jesus also stands nearby and admonishes us to follow, not the crowd, nor anybody else, but we hear his words, follow me. Just like this soldier in this picture, did he follow him? Yes, he followed him down the road of Via Della Rosa. <clears throat> and his disciples, before, before he was crucified, his, his disciples followed him. <clears throat> See the crowd of people? <clears throat> As we follow the crowd, we find ourselves caught in a great, un unrushing, pleasure-seeking, God-forgetting mass of worldly people who will carry us on and down mom, mom. to the place of destruction. Mom, mom, this is the wrong way. This is the right way. Well, when, when, we, don't, when we don't follow the crowd, to think and we think that we're going to be in destruction when we don't follow the crowd this is the wrong way this is the right way well it's when we follow jesus he is the right way he is the he is he is the way for eternal life mm. many are caught in that wait a minute yes so in this picture it illustrates um, the pathway to a better life is when we follow Jesus. As we follow the crowd, we find ourselves caught in a great unrushing, pleasure-seeking, God-forgetting, God God-forgetting mass of worldly people who will carry us on and down to the place of destruction. Many are caught in that mass now who are far in sin, and are hopelessly lost. Yet when they enter the broad gate, they probably said to Jesus, I'm going just a short way down the broad road. So here's our here's our picture, Adam, of our road that we want to take. We want to take the life of Jesus road. Okay, he is he is our highway for eternal life. Many are caught in that mass now who are far in sin and are hopelessly lost. Yet when they entered the broad gate, they probably said to Jesus, I'm going just a short way down the broad road and see just a few pleasures. Then I'm going to follow thee. Poor souls carried on and down by evil habits and worldly as associates they are far, far from God. Let's follow Jesus, who will take us up the narrow road. As we enter the straight gate, we shall have to drop our worldly burdens and sinful actions. He, no doubt, will take us first to the cross, where we shall see him dying for us. At his feet, we shall lay our sins, and as we receive him as Savior, we shall have the happy experience of real of realizing forgiveness of sin. Then we shall gladly follow him, leaving the things of the world 
behind and entering paths of service and sacrifice, gladly to keep our feet in his steps. At the end of the journey, we shall look back and see the rugged, narrow road. Look ahead. Look ahead. And see the golden city and say to ourselves, after all, the narrow way is a king's highway and it led to God. We are bound for the land of the pure and the holy, the home of the happy, the kingdom of love. He wanders from God in the broad road of folly. All say you go to the Eden above. Will you go? to the 